Hey guys, uh, today I want to do a review or a recap on the Chinese Year of the Pig. And the Chinese Year of the Pig uh, uh, started on February 5th, 2019 and ended on January 24th, 2020. And in the past, uh, last March, I did a real short video with the uh, uh, pig symbolism. It had to do with the uh, space, UFOs, and uh, the Chinese Year of the Pig. So I kind of want to just go back here and look at the look at some more symbolism with the space pigs and UFO and space rituals uh, that have to do with uh, the Chinese zodiac. So we had the Year of the Pig ended on January twenty fourth, twenty twenty. And that was the last day of the pig year. And on this last day of the pig year, the United States Space Force released their official seal. And if we look at a quick history here of the Space Force, uh, the original creation of the Space Force uh, by Donald Trump was on June 18th, 2018. And then uh, the Space Force becomes official uh, as part of the Air Force on 2-19-2019. So what I want to do here is take a look at the numbers uh, in relation to this release of the seal of the Space Force uh, to the creation and the uh, date that the Space Force became part of, officially part of the uh, military. So the initial creation of the Space Force was on June 18th, 2018, and our last day of the pig year uh, was 585 days. And I've talked about the 585 before. Uh, 585 is an earthquake number. Uh, Thals of Miletus uh, is credited with the beginning of the study of seismology in 585 BC. So that's the origin of our 585 and the earthquake association and 585 can also be a reference to World War One. Uh, the United States spent a total of 585 days in World War One. From April 6, 1917 to 11-11, 1918, the end of World War One. Uh, the United States spent a total span of 585 days. So 585 can also be a reference to World War. Uh, the other number here, uh, the 219-2019 number. You can see the Space Force seal was re released 339 days after the Space Force became an official branch of the military. And I've talked about the 339 before. This is a reference to Revelation, uh, the 339th verse of Revelation. It's Revelation 19:19, 19, 19. and I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And there have been other uh, Revelation 1919 rituals uh, with other presidents. Uh, I showed you guys this before, but the Reagan assassination attempt uh, was at 1919 Connecticut Avenue. And there are some other uh, Reagan Revelation rituals uh, here as well that have to do with space and UFOs. Uh, Ronald Reagan, he was elected on November 4th, 1980. And if we add 1,377 days to 11 4 
If you add 1,377 days to the Ronald Reagan election date, it gets us to August 12th, 1984. And August 12th, 1984 was the uh, 1984 uh, Olympics closing ceremony. And what was so interesting about that, it was the closing ceremony uh, that had the alien arrival. Uh, the UFO landed in the Los Angeles uh, Memorial Coliseum. And uh, it was an alien ritual for Ronald Reagan. And this origin of the 1377... Uh, I've showed you guys that before. Uh, it's from Revelation 8.11, uh, which is the focus of my channel, of course, Falling Wormwood Star. Uh, but Revelation 8.11 has this uh, ordinal gematria value of 1377. Uh, his presidency was all about Revelation 8.11 and Revelation 19.19. He was a big uh, UFO uh, president. Uh, he gave three separate speeches uh, to the, uh, and one of them was to the UN uh, about the alien threat. Uh, but more on this uh, 1984 Olympics with Ronald Reagan. Uh, Ronald Reagan, he was the first president, American president, uh, to open an Olympic Games. And if we look at the Olympics, Logo for the 1984 Olympics, you can see here it's the star, the five-pointed star. And I want to show you guys another uh, 339 here uh, related to the Olympics. Night, Revelation 19.19, our 339th verse of Revelation. Uh, again, a while ago I did the video about the pentagrams of Venus. And we had the 26th completed pentagram of Venus uh, from the founding of the United States. Uh, the completed pentagram was on August 25th, 1983. So if we look at that in relation to the opening of the Olympics on 7-28-1984, and 728 uh, also just happens to be the anniversary of the beginning of World War I as well. Uh, the United States entered later, but this is the start date of World War I. So the 1984 Olympics actually started on the anniversary of World War I. Uh, but what we're looking at here is the 26th Venus pentagram completed on 825, 1983. Beginning of, the, beginning of the Olympics in Los Angeles. It was a total span of 339 days after the completion of a Venus pentagram. So that's why they have their star here, their five-pointed star for the pentagram of Venus and the 339 for Revelation 1919, the alien arrival with the closing ceremony. Um, I've talked a lot about this before. It's all foreshadowing uh, Project Blue Beam or World War III. So I want to take a look here um, at this 618. Uh, the initial creation of the Space Force was on 618. This is a very special date and a special number. Uh, the area code 618 uh, just happens to fall in southern Illinois, and southern Illinois is the location of the uh, crossing of the X eclipses. The 821 2017 eclipse path crosses over Carbondale, Illinois, as well as the 48 2024 uh, eclipse path that completes the X right over Carbondale, Illinois, and Southern Illinois is known as Little Egypt, and it's the 618 area code. Remember, 618 is a reference to the golden ratio, or phi. 
you have the 13th Fibonacci, which is 233, divided by the 12th Fibonacci, 144, or 618. Or if we do it the other way, we get our 618. The 618 is a reference to the golden ratio. And I'll also show you how important 618 is uh, in regards to Earth. The space theme here. Um, if we take 618 itself and we rotate it 180 degrees, it becomes an 819. And the area code 819 in Canada uh, just happens to be along the east coast of the Hudson Bay. And I've done a lot of videos and a lot of stuff about Hudson Bay. Uh, a very big event will happen at Hudson Bay, uh, the event that kicks off Revelation. Hudson Bay is super coded to Revelation and World War III. But the 618-819 relationship here, and remember 618 is the area code for Little Egypt. We rotate it 180 degrees to 819. And 819 is the uh, is a square pyramidal number. Of course, Egypt is associated with pyramids. Uh, 819 is the 13th square pyramidal number. And World War III will be the 13th war, official war of the United States participates in. Uh, the very first war, the United States, the, the very first declaration of war by the United States uh, was on the United it was on the United Kingdom on 618, 1812, another 618. So our very first war was also uh, a reference to the golden ratio. June 18th. Uh, one more thing here, uh, if you look back here, um, uh, Donald Trump, uh, he uses Twitter uh, more than any other president has. Uh, he uses it as kind of one of his main outlets for, uh, for information. But uh, Twitter, of course, is represented by uh, a little bird, and all of his little messages that he puts out all the numbers that he shows in those tweets, um, it's all symbolically coded. And that has to do with uh, what's called the language of the birds, uh, which is the mystical and perfect divine language. Uh, the language of the birds uh, is the magical language used by birds to communicate with the initiated. So Twitter uh, being one of the main sources of information from Donald Trump, and a lot of those tweets are just super coded with symbolic information, numbers. Um, just a little a lesson that uh, signs and symbols and symbolism uh, is very, very important to understanding all these puzzles that we're looking at here. All the numbers, symbolism, uh, Numbers like this, the number flexibility, flipping numbers, the X, the ideas. You have to think in the um, language of symbols uh, to decode all of this information that we're given. Okay, we're going to take a look at this uh, 618 again and why it's so important. Uh, we're talking about 618 as part is part of the golden ratio. We're going to take a look at Earth here. And I have the date here of 618-2020. And every year right around the date of 618, Earth passes over the celestial golden gate 
uh, right around the 266 and 267 uh, ecliptic longitude. So every year, Earth is approximately in the Golden Gate on 618. So that's why they... And uh, in case you don't understand what we're looking at here, the view here uh, is from the sun. This is the heliocentric um, view in Stellarium. Uh, our perspective here is looking from the sun. So that's why we have Earth here in the Golden Gate. And every year on 618, it's in the Golden Gate, the celestial Golden Gate in the sky. Okay. Uh, lately, I have been talking about World War III uh, this March, specifically March 31st. Uh, I've talking at, talked at great length about all these dates, March 25th uh, through April 7th, all these connections to Revelation. Um, it's very likely that we will not actually see World War III this year or this March. Uh, this is just a... Well, it's not just a, but it's a lot of symbolism and alignments here uh, that point to Revelation. There's a lot of symbolic alignments here that are very, very important. And uh, they just happen to fall right in line with other dates I've looked at as well. But so we're going to finish looking at some of these dates here. Uh, and then we're going to move along uh, and look at some other candidates for a revelation. And actually, uh, this morning, uh, I made this video. And I'm not going to show you guys this video for a while yet until we get to uh, the rest of this. There's some very important uh, symbolism here uh, with the United States and other world wars uh, that we need to look at here uh, before we go past this and look ahead. And like I've said before, I'm not here to string anybody along with these dates or to make anybody worry, uh, but it is part of the World War ritual and uh, there is more more about this and more to come uh, especially that has to do with this number here this 3313 lots to look at um, so we'll continue on with that uh, before we look at the other video I made today uh, that was a real short video but very important, very, very important video. We'll get to it. But I want to talk uh, more about these Chinese zodiac years uh, with the Chinese year of the ox. And the Chinese ox year uh, begins on 2-12-2021. And just want to show you some symbolism here with the year of the ox. Uh, the year of the ox is the second of 12 signs on the Chinese zodiac, and it begins on 212 as well. And if you look at the ox here, the O is the 15th letter, X is the 24th letter, and 15 times 24 uh, equals 360. Of course, 360 is a reference to a circle or a cycle, a complete circle is 360 degrees. That's why I have the Ouroboros here. Completed cycle, 360 degrees. And of course, if you put the X inside of the O, still it spells ox. So that's why we're looking at this Dark Phoenix movie that released on June 7th, 2021. 
2019. So I want to show you the ritual to the year of the ox real quick. So Dark Phoenix, Phoenix released on June 7th, 2019. And the year of the ox begins on 2-12-2021. And you can see it's exactly 88 weeks. It's a very important number, the 88. So they're coding this Dark Phoenix with the year of the ox cleverly with the spelling of Phoenix. And like I said before, I don't want to string anybody along, but um, very likely that I have 100% hit the ritual correctly, but um, there's still, still more rituals to go here uh, for Revelation. And I'm going to focus on this, this year of the ox here coming up. Uh, we'll go through some more of the March and April symbolism for 2020. Uh, but the ox here, we're going to take a look at this. Of course, the X is related to our X eclipse. This is an important part of figuring out the puzzle as well. All the pig symbolism from the pig year. We're currently in the year of the rat. There's a lot of symbolism for the rat as well that we could look at. But the next thing I'm going to take a look at here is the ox. Okay, guys, uh, that's all I got for you today. Um, uh, thanks for watching.